Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Ref Guest. This one's brought to you by the DraftKings Sportsbook. And if I'm doing my math right, the week that this comes out, the Yankees and the Dodgers are playing. This is a matchup we've been waiting for all season long, so I dedicated this Ref Guest episode to that matchup. All of these players have played for the Yankees and Dodgers at some point in their career. Let's get into it. All right. I'm Joe's McFly, and I'm wearing a Yankee hat. It's true. He's not lying, guys. Uh, this guy has been bouncing around playing a lot of positions. Corner outfielder. Third baseman. Not a lot. First base. Center field. This one started in Texas in 2015. He was a mostly left fielder. Finished in Washington last year. Who finished in Wa- Oh, no. He's all in Washington right now. Ooh. I was so excited when the Yankees traded for this guy. It was like, man, we got our lefty masher middle of the lineup. 2021 was a pretty depressing year in Yankees land. Recently came back for the Nationals. He's playing, they haven't played so much first base that it kind of freaked me out when I looked at his game logs. A lot of homers, but not quite enough to make up for the like no other hits. Oh man, how quickly it can change. God, didn't he turn down like five years of Hundy Mill or something? From the Rangers, I think. Oh, 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 okay. Dude, he has 1,200 strikeouts in 3,200 at bats. That's too many for one man. All right, this is the Texas Rangers. Then this person was a Yankee in 2020. Oh, Joey Gallo. And then we went out and we got the Italian Stallions. We got Anthony Rizzo and we got. Mr. Joey Gallo. You know I love Joey Gallo. Bizarre way to play the great game. Everyone says a nice guy, Joey Gallo. This is Joey Gallo. Oh, wow. See, Yankees Dodgers up. If that's Joey Gallo, you're out. Flip it over and find out. Is that two blinds this year for you? Illegal. Uncool. Why is that uncool? He's a Yankee and a Dodger. It was a tough time. It was a tough time for everybody. They're getting rid of this shift. He'll probably hit 250. I just looked at the batting average. My God. <laughs> <laughs> 160, Bob? I uh, know, dude. Come on, <laughs> man. No way. And it was supposed to be awesome. And it was fun. Yes, would do like the Italian music at commercials and stuff like that. And then Joey Gallo just like forgot how to hit baseballs. It got like sad. There was a point in time where his ref guess was looking like it was going to be impressive. Yes. Yeesh. What does he got? 49 Ks and one single at the time we're recording this? 43 strikeouts and one single. <laughs> That's crazy. Finish! All right, this is medium. Medium. I'm not going to sing it like I always do. Medium. Corotta. Third baseman. Yes, you're a third baseman. Okay, he was a Met third baseman for many years. It looks like, not many years, but you know. He was a White Sox 2003 Yankee. 2002 Yankee, and he was an all-star. See, I would love to say Enrique Wilson, but I don't know. I don't think he, he wasn't an all-star. Chicago White Sox. Man, this is a baseball reference I'm going to have to look at. He was a White Sox for a really long time. Oh, my goodness. Third baseman for the White Sox in the late 90s. And then he went to the Mets. Ooh, old guy. Medium. Um, Some third base. White Sox years. Mets, Yanks, Dodgers. Okay, finished with the Dodgers only two years. A lot of White Sox in there. Gold Glove third baseman for the White Sox, who got MVP votes with the Mets in 1999. Definitely didn't win it because they don't have an MVP. Okay. We have a third baseman who starts off with the Chicago White Sox. He goes to the New York Mets for several years, the Yankees for a couple years, makes an all-star team with the Yankees, third base. This person's a third baseman, but he also played some first. Career ended in 2004. And this guy was a good defender, huh? This guy has a good arm. I don't think it was Guillen. I think Guillen was on more teams. And he wasn't a third baseman. He was an outfielder. <laughs> I, would, I would start there. I'm having brain fog right now, <laughs> like crazy. See, I'm thinking about 2002, 2003 Yankees. And 2000, he was on the 2000 Mets. Did Todd Zeal play for the White Sox? And it's not Todd Zeal, though. But, and I think he, he did play for the Mets in that time, but he didn't play third base. If I'm correct, I think Todd Zeal played second. There's a couple things going on here. One, the gold gloves. In my head, I had this player as a more 
vaunted offensive player. Wow. He played a lot of innings at third base for the Yankees after Brocious and before A-Rod. Who was the Yankees' third baseman in 2002? For a medium, I feel like this guy isn't jumping out at me as fast as he should. This was right before the Yankees got Aaron Boone, then A-Rod. Pretty good career for this guy. Good for him. 294 homers. Third base for the Dodgers in 2004? 100 games? Went from the Yankees to the Dodgers. And this is a Yankee that came from the Mets. Six gold gloves? 34 homers in 96. Good player. Yeah. Like, solid. Like, when the homers are down, the OPS is still in the 800s good. And partway through the 2003 season, gets traded to the Dodgers. Would not have guessed he was ever a Dodger. 1990 rookie. I mean, like, I'm starting to zero in on the face. Going from 2003, this guy was on the World Series team, no? He was. The team that went to the World Series in 2003 with the Yanks. No, he got traded. Okay, now that's interesting. But he was a White Sox. Am I ignoring White Sox right now? For some reason? He'd be known as a White Sox, no? Who was the third baseman after Brocious? I think that's the question. Why did the Yankees trade you? To the Dodgers. Who the hell did they get back? I feel like I'll, fi I'll find out exactly who it is once they know who, I who they traded uh, you for. You know what? Just because I'm interested to see if you actually can do it. I'm who did they trade for? They traded him to the Dodgers for Bubba Crosby and Scott Proctor. Bubba Crosby <laughs> and Scott <laughs> Proctor, my God. Bubba Crosby was the Yankee center fielder for like half a second. <laughs> and it's also funny, A, being New York sports, B, doing Yankees Mets stuff. The only highlight I have of this player on the White Sox is him getting beat up by an old man, which is crazy. Damn, why is this guy not jumping out to me faster? What the hell? Trying to find a stat that's going to pop out at me, but it's just not happening. Were the White Sox good in the 90s? Who was playing? Who was an all-star for the Yankees in 2002, right after they got Giambi? Though I'll be honest, the White Sox, I think, is this is like a good White Sox, and that's throwing me off. Oh, yeah. I don't know why your rebate keeps popping up in my head. That's not, that's not it. Why is this guy? He played with Frank Thomas. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> oh, my God. Jolly, please. Jolly, please. Give me, give me, <laughs> let, me give, let me give myself a timer here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, because I'll, I'll be, I'll be, I'll piss. You don't, I'll be you so don't do well with time, though. I know, but I, <laughs> I could at least say that I give myself, what is this, an hour five? You don't like time. I'm really blanking on this guy. I feel like it's not memorable for him as a Yankee. Maybe not. But as a Met, I should know this guy. Timer, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 my man, my man, my man, relax, relax, relax. Oh my God, he had 27 homers for my Yankees. Dude, who are you? I'm going to be pissed. Oh, Miguel Cairo. Oh boy, Jolly, I think I got another one point week here. I feel weird that I know the power threat, and everyone loves a lefty hitting third baseman, of Robin Ventura. This has to be Robin Ventura. Oh, Ventura? Ventura is correct. Yeah. Hey, it was really good for you guys, I wonder. I was at the PNP Deli in Hazlitt, New Jersey. When word got out that they traded him for Aaron Boone. That's who he got traded for? Yeah. That's fun. I didn't know. Uh, well, actually, I don't know if it was one for one, but no. he left the team. Yeah. And he Or Boone came. You he know. got traded for a reliever that they used a lot, Scott yeah. Proctor. But it was on the Yankees roster. That yes. was the move. Robin Ventura. <laughs> Robin Ventura. Damn. <laughs> he had 32 homers one year? That's pretty good. Damn. Robin Ventura. Is it? That is incorrect. Max Man. I don't think this. Wait. Yeah, that definitely counts as a guess. It's not Miguel Cairo. Who the hell is this? I did uh, get this wrong. Like, I'll. Okay. You can count that as a guess. That's fine. You showed Who your age a little bit. I did. This is Robin Ventura. I would have gotten there. It would have taken me way too long. I should have known it wasn't Miguel Cairo, though. Miguel Cairo played in, like, the 2010s. Damn. He was a Yankee third base. He was. Man. Like, I, yeah. But he was, yeah, he was never that much of a power hitter. Miguel Cairo, his months. name jumped to, he was the first name that had any semblance of, like, these teams in this position. And I got, I got way too trigger happy. But yeah, I, did, I wasn't familiar with his defensive game. But how about that? Sixth in MVP voting with the Metropolitans. It's tough, man. They're going to eat me alive. Uh, Robin Ventura. Robin Ventura. Okay. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't know he was like a career White Sox. I only know him for the little stint with the Mets. Finish! Got a hard...
Uh, so it's hard. Dodger, Yankee, James Paxton. Okay. I think you already know hard. Oh, I do? You already know it. Oh, come on. See, this is, I I do think this is easier for a chunk of the office because of the recency. So only Yankees and Dodgers. Oh, starting pitcher, yes. Comes over at age 33. Oh, the man who does not enjoy baseball, <laughs> but was really good at it. Jimmy probably told you this. This man didn't enjoy playing baseball and he's underrated. Clearly, the way you're talking about him. Because these are ages 33 to 39. Three years at the Yankees. I think it's a series of one-year deals. I think, yeah, I think it's three straight one-year deals. 200 innings. All those years. 199 in the last. And then I think he did go back to Japan for a sec. But this guy hated baseball. This is Hiroki Kuroda. Kuroda. Hideki Kuroda. Hiroki Kuroda. Is correct. Kurodi Kurekiti. <laughs> what did I say the first time? You said Hideki Kuroda, the other Japanese. Hiroki Yankee. Dakota? <laughs> Hiroki Kuroda. He was awesome. Yeah, but he said at one point, uh, this is not this is not fun. This is just a job. Tough times. He was good. Look at all those ERAs. He was really fucking good. Which is why it's a shame. Because he came over and he was just great and then he was done. So when you blinded him, I was like, oh shit, you did it too early. <laughs> well, I'm glad I got medium. I was sucked. You're right about the one-year deal thing. He just cashed a one-year for 10 mil check every year. Yankees kept wanting him back. Finish! Well, three people got snubbed on Robin Ventura today, one of them being Max Manis. So a big opportunity for Jake to open a wide lead. And this trivia question, it's a little bit wonky. I apologize, but I want to see if anyone's able to get it. For those of you who don't know, the Yankees and Dodgers are the most frequent World Series matchup in MLB history. I'm going to be asking players if they can name how many times that matchup has happened. Let's see if they can do it. So, so Yankees-Giants played seven times. And that is the second most. Yankees-Dodgers played more than that. I had a number that popped into my head immediately, but it feels a little high. But I feel like, why did it pop in my head so immediately? It, feel, it feels like that'd be so many times. You, so you just need me to say a number. There's a chance, like the number in my head, I, it came to my head so fast. There's a chance it's like super off. Or like, you know, off enough that I'm like, that like, it, like it, it'll be embarrassing that I guessed it. The number in my head's been 12 this whole time, and I have to stay with that. Because if, um, if I pivoted now and it is 12, I, I'm out. Mm. So I'm saying 12. BBD, you were one World Series off. Mm. So how many times do you think that the Yankees and Dodgers have faced in the World Series? 10. You were so goddamn close, it was 11. Damn. Giants and Yankees are seven times. You know, this is probably going to be a guess. My educated guess will be 11 times. Yeah? That is correct, Jake. Awesome. They have played 11 times. I knew it wasn't eight. <laughs> 10 didn't seem sexy enough. Jimmy gets 10. So I went 11. You went 11. See? Gotta Seven. be sexy sometimes. That's five points for Jake. That's a uh, big oh, widened gap against Max. Oh, Max should be in his own league. <laughs> I saw the comments. I kept the receipts. Well, I wouldn't have guessed that the Yankees and Dodgers have played 11 times in the World Series, though it hasn't happened in 40 years. And the only person who was able to guess that correctly was, of course, our number one player, Jake Storielli, who widens his first place lead. As for BBD, he leapfrogs Joe's into the top three once again. So Joe's, his one week reign in the top three has come to an end. But this was a lot of fun. If you had a lot of fun watching, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe to the Jane Baseball channel. We'll see you next Thursday for another episode of Ref Guess.